I'm Elizabeth Severe, and I've been living with ulcerative colitis since I was a baby. When Elizabeth was only two years old, her parents knew something was wrong. After many doctor appointments and many tests, her diagnosis of ulcerative colitis only raised more questions. So what exactly is ulcerative colitis? Basically what it means is that my immune system, instead of fighting off sicknesses like a normal person and like your body and everyone else's body, mine attacks my body and it attacks my large intestine. So it causes the inside of my intestine to shred itself basically. And it causes really bad stomach cramps and a lot of other problems go with it like joint pain and skin problems. Elizabeth was on and off a lot of medication before a new drug called Remicade showed a lot of promise in patients like her. She now gets an IV infusion every eight weeks in the hospital. And that drug has basically made my life completely normal and I really don't have any issues now. And I'm a student and I live my day-to-day -day life and I just have minor issues. Physicians like Dr. Greg Borak, a gastroenterologist, are thrilled with the development of new drugs like Remicade because they see patients like Elizabeth with diseases like ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and celiac struggle every day. It can lead to a lot of problems. It can cause abdominal pain, it can cause a change in your bowel habits, bleeding, nutritional deficiencies. Um, it can be very severe or very mild depending on the patient. 30, 40 years ago, the, the mainstay of treatment were, were steroids, prednisone, the corticosteroids, which we now know are, are good temporizing measures, you know, kind of band-aids, but it's not a good long-term treatment. Both Elizabeth and Dr. Borak know organizations like the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation are key in improving the lives of patients suffering from these types of inflammatory diseases. Crohn's and Colitis Foundation works tireless to raise money for research and support. Their Take Steps Walk happening September 30th in Daffin Park is their biggest fundraiser. And Elizabeth has her team ready to go. It is me and my family and all of my friends that have supported me throughout having my disease throughout my whole life and everyone that has walked with me and helped me raise money. It's fun. I have done it a few times now and the kickoff, there's a lot of loud noise and a lot of speakers and stuff and you get t-shirts and there's all these tents set up with different medical doctors and things that you can find out about and then everyone starts together and walks together so it's a lot of fun. Dr. Borak says the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation helps patients in another important way too. You know sometimes you feel like you're on an island when you have these diseases it's to know that there's a lot of people out there that are that are uh, suffering and that are going through the same you know, kind of things that you are, um, Crohn's and colitis does a great job getting those people together, you know, things like the walks that we're talking about to let people know that there, there are a lot of people in the same boat and there is a support group for everyone.